Welcome to today's Granada Houses video. We're here to show you this lovely cortijo, about 15 minutes or so from Montefrio. The house has three bedrooms and three bathrooms. It's in the province of Granada in Andalusia. We have 2,000 square metres of land, but unfortunately most of that land isn't really usable. Pretty much what you see outside here is the extent of the really usable land. You see we have this beautiful terracing, lovely patios, very nice seating area and bar area. I'll show you one of my favourite little bits. I really like the way they've done this barbecue. I think that's so cute. That's just a great idea. house 125 square meters we have some beautiful views there are neighbors so you won't feel isolated here access is good on one direction the access is via tarmac road and the other direction is mostly tarmac with some concreted parts let's have a look around the corner here so you've got a jacuzzi and there's a little terrace just above the jacuzzi. You could, I guess, take that terrace out and make a larger overground pool, but that may be quite expensive to have that work done. But it's an option, but it would have to be an overground pool. Let's take a look inside now. We enter straight into the open plan sitting room, dining room. The wood burning stove. The ceilings are very unusual. They're all made with wood beams and slate tiling inserted. And that's the style throughout the house. So just on the left here is the kitchen. And we think this wall could be taken out to make this a much more open plan space. I think that's what I would do if I had this house. It's a good sized kitchen. It has a lacquered cabinetry and good granite worktops. The water is from the well and there is a pump that's outside that provides really good pressure for the house mains electricity and there's Wi-Fi already installed. This downstairs bathroom, shower room, it's quite a good size. And then you have a large storeroom which is under the stairs. It's always useful to have plenty of storage. Let's take a look upstairs. I rather like the way the stairs have been done. I think the blue tiling is very attractive and you can see it's full height so it does give a sense of openness as you come up. At the top of the stairs we've got the family bathroom. In this space I would put in a larger shower. I would change this cabinet for a bigger one. We think you could probably get in a one metre by 90 in this space. First bedroom, good size double, has views over the countryside of course, as does everything here. This middle bedroom is the smallest, currently being used as an office come dressing room. I think you could get a small double in here. And then the largest room principal room at the other end of the hall and this one has an ensuite the windows are quite basic they're not double glazed that might be something that you would want to change And let's go and have a look again outside. 
So here we are again, coming out to the lovely terrace. This is such a beautiful spot. And very private from here too. No one's overlooking you from this area. This is where we came in through the brown doors. Another little bit of garden here. The larger of the two structures is where the water storage tank is and the little structure is where the pump is for the house. And you also have this storeroom. So it's a decent sized storeroom, not for a car of course as you can see, but it would be fine for motorbikes. Or of course if you wanted to keep your garden furniture here while you're not in the house. There's lots of parking. It's not the most attractive space at the moment, but it could be made obviously much nicer. It's a little track that comes up to the house. So that's this current house in the Campo in Andalusia in the province of Granada. Please like and share this video. Leave comments in the section below. We look forward to showing you this property. Request your viewing in the section below too. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be informed of all of our upcoming videos as we post them. You can see you have a few olive trees on your land, enough to make a small amount of olive oil or to make olives for the table. So thank you for watching this video and we really do look forward to welcoming you to view this lovely property.